These are the directions for workplace 6B area or perimeter. Each pair of players will need one die numbered 1 through 6 and one die numbered 4 through 9 to play this game. They will also need one more or less die, one spinner overlay to share, and a 6B area or perimeter record sheet, one for each player. To start this game, players will decide who will go first. One player rolls the more or less die to find out if they are playing for more or less. Player one will then choose the dimension spinner A or B and spin to get the known dimension. So I will go ahead and roll this. Now I got less as well as I'm going to pick dimension spinner A and I got a four. From there, I'm going to roll both dice, multiply the numbers that are rolled, and decide if I want the product to be the perimeter or the area. I have a 2 and a 6. Since my known dimension was 4, and I'm circling area because I'm choosing to find the area, and lastly, the numbers I rolled was 12. 4 times what equals 12? So our missing dimension would be 3. Because 4 times 3 equals 12. So for my workspace, I am going to make a square with the dimensions of 3 and 4 to show I know the area is 12. Now that I've determined the unknown dimension, player 2 will check my work. And if I'm correct, then player two will go ahead and take their turn. They will do the same steps as I will. For this game, we will make sure we both get three turns, and at the end of the game, we will add the unknown dimensions that we found during the game, and if we rolled less on the more or less dice, the player with the smaller sum wins, and if we played more on the more or less die, then the player with the larger sum wins. These are the end of the directions for workplace 6B, area or perimeter. If you're looking for different variations for this game, players can use two dice numbered four through nine. Players can also choose to work with even larger products and can use two dice numbered four through nine and one die numbered one through six and multiply all three numbers that are rolled. Or instead of rolling the more or less die, at the beginning of the game, players can set a target number for the points and play until the first person reaches the target number. For example, if the target number is 50, the player that gets closer to 50 would win. Lastly, instead of rolling the more or less dice at the beginning of the game, players can set a low target number to try to keep their final score after three rounds below the target number. For example, if the target number is 10, players play three rounds and try to keep their scores under 10. The player with the lowest score wins.